Time now for an update from Fox Carolina News and Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rates certified most accurate. Good morning. Time for your news and weather morning update from Fox Carolina News. We begin with breaking news from Atlanta, where a former police officer is now charged with fel felony murder in the shooting death of Rayshard Brooks. A second officer is also charged after the Friday night shooting in Atlanta. Garrett Rolfe, who pulled the trigger, is facing 11 charges, including the murder charge. Officer Devil, Devin, Devin Bronson, Bronson is charged with aggravated assault and two violations of office. The district attorney says that Bronson plans to testify against his partner. Lawmakers in South Carolina are working to make Juneteenth a state holiday. This Friday, June 19th, is when Juneteenth is celebrated. It's the day in 1865 when the last slaves were freed by Union soldiers. A state Senator Daryl Jackson will file legislation to make it a legal holiday. Let's get a quick check of that weather forecast with meteorologist Nicole Papang. Yeah, Ted, we're looking at a little bit of light fog this morning. Spartanburg starting to see some of that. It shouldn't be widespread or too thick, but it is something we might see now and then. There's still some moisture in the air, about a 20% chance for passing showers in the early hours of the day. And then the rain chance goes up this afternoon with thunderstorms possible. High temperatures warm up a little more than yesterday, reaching 79 degrees in the upstate and around 73 degrees in western North Carolina, a 40 to 50 percent chance for late day thunderstorms. We should see the rain and storm chances back off into Father's Day weekend. I'll give you a look ahead to that when you watch the morning news. It's from 430 to 9 a.m. and again at 10 a.m. You can also watch our 4, 5, 10 and 11 o'clock newscasts for more. We have information on our Fox Carolina news app on our social media pages and our YouTube channel.